Okay, fellas, um, it's time. I'm going to put a video on today. We've got bits and pieces to show. Been out today, got a couple of nice bits. And uh, I've decided it's time to finish this um, competition for the Garrett giveaways. Now, I'm going to read some names out to you. These are the people that commented on my video. Okay, so it was Horde Finder, NL, Dollar Seafluth, Super Drew, Carla Tiller Barkley, The Four King Diggers, Angel of Music, Sunrise Solara, Penguin Chick, Wayne Smith, Richard Bacon, Oregon Digger, Alan Walker, The Fight Doctor, The John 316 UK, Silent Sid uh, 420, Kevin Ron, 57 Fitter, uh, Dink Dank Do 2, Paul Russell, Detector Hunter, Derek Naylor, uh, who's that? General Sir John James Hamilton, Blue City Blue Tube, and Was a Pommy 1961. Okay, so there's 24 of you, uh, and I'm going to number you as I've just read you out. So, uh, what I mean is a uh, horde finder is number one and was a pommy the last one is number 24 so there's 24 of you and I've got here random.org I think you can see that okay random.org let me just come in I've got minimum one there maximum 24 I'm going to press generate and we'll see which number wins okay it's not working. Number 17. Right, can you see that? I'm just going to... It's generated number 17. And number 17 is... So the winner is... 57 Fitter. I don't know where you are. Uh, I'm going to contact you. You need to send me your address and I'll send you this stuff. Okay? So congratulations... You can see it there, look, 57 fitter, number 17. Congratulations, I'll get this bagged up and I'll get it off to you as soon as I've got your address. Right, this is for Drew. I've just made this great big massive pan stew, where you can see how big it is, because my hand's there and it's on the oven. And everything in there is garden produce except for the meat I bought the meat down at the supermarket beef chunk, big chunks of beef lot potatoes out of the garden carrots out of the garden celery out of the garden onions out of the garden green beans out of the garden and then a bit later on this is about cooked now but I'm going metal detecting a bit later on I'm going to make some dumplings Afternoon everybody, uh, back on our normal land again, it's Wednesday 8th of October and I give a guy an invite who I've been conversing with on uh, um, Global Metal Detectors, that's uh, my Facebook page which I set up, we've got uh, uh, over 80 members now, Global Metal Detectors is designed to bring all metal detectors together, show what we're finding and maybe go and metal detect with each other. So I invited this guy down. This is Vlad. Hello, guys. He, he's Hungarian. Yep. And uh, I've invited him down. He, he works in Vienna, uh, but he's got some property down in Hungary, which maybe when he's got, he said when he's got the place ready, we can go down and detect there. Yep. And he actually found a Roman coin on his first day out within two hours, and the first coin he found was a Roman coin. So well done, Vlad. Oh, I've done a full length of the field and I've found a musket ball. That's all I've got, full length. OK, I'm not finding much at all today. I'm almost just about giving up. I've just got this signal. This is exactly... As it's come out, look, I don't know what it is, but it's nice and it's old and it's bronze. That is nice, that is. I've just found this. I think it's a bit of a coin. I don't think it's silver armoured, although it's super thin. 
because uh, it looks a bit copper coloured. I think I can see a pattern on it. I'm not sure. But uh, I'm going to keep this separate. I'm not going to put it in the bag because I don't want to throw this away. I want to clean this up and see where it is. I'm sort of throwing this. They're dead tiny, these flowers are. Dead cute. Look, that's how big they are. Look, my finger can cover them. Don't know what I've got here, but after 20 minutes, I finally found it. Look, I don't know if it's part of it. It's heavy, so it's lead. I don't know what it is. I ain't got a clue. Bingo, a coin. I don't know what it is. It's not old, I don't think. Uh, well, old in the sense that uh, it's like Roman or silver hammer or something. I think it's fairly modern. Right, boys, something very interesting here. I don't know, it's bronze, look. I don't know what it is, but can you see that pattern up there, look, there. So that's old. What the hell is it? It's a little bit windy today, so I'm sorry about my wind problems, but I promise I'll go and see a doctor. So uh, catch you when something comes up. Okay, first find of the day. I don't think it's a coin, I think it's a button. It's slightly concaved on this side. So, pretty sure it's a button. Alright, I've just got a really, really nice signal. And I know it's out, and so it's it's in here somewhere. There. Oh! Oh my God, second one! Oh! It's Roman! It's Roman. This is the second one I've got of these, and David got one the other day. Wow, that's cool. I really like that. I think it may be, these may be brooches. I don't know, Roman. That's definitely Roman, that. So, good start. 20 minutes in, and uh, a good start. So this bit hasn't been done. No way would David have missed that. But this is at the side of David's tracks, where he were finding a lot of Roman stuff. So this is a great find. Roman, again. Wow, yeah, I'll show you the other one when I get back, which I got maybe, I don't know, I got this maybe two years ago, uh, but one very, very similar, and one of these is missing. So that's cool, great find, carry on, on to the next. That just came out of that hole there, look, and I dug it out, it was there, and then I didn't even have to use a pinpointer, but it's not old, this isn't, because there's, there's no weight to it whatsoever. Alright, just got another great signal, and I can see it, it's there, look, I haven't took it out, I can actually see that round edge there, I don't know if you can see that, there's a round edge there, look, right there, and it, ah oh yes it is, it's a coin, great, and it's probably, by the size of it and the thickness of it, it's probably an 1800 or 1812 Kreutzer, I don't know if you can see that. I dig so many of these, or oh, maybe it's not. Yes, it is. I'm pretty sure it is. It's a Kreutz. It's a one Kreutz of that. Okay, the day keeps getting better. This is five, four minutes after that coin. I, I think, oh, is it a button? No, it's not. It might be. Is it? Is it a button? I'm not sure. I thought this was a Roman coin for a minute. I was pretty sure that was a Roman coin, but maybe it's not. I don't know, it's got like an indentation on the back. So it could be a four-hole button, that, probably. I was pretty sure that was a Roman coin, and now I'm pretty sure it's not. Coin number three. Don't know what it is. I don't think it's old, because it's not that heavy. So it's probably... I don't know. I don't know. Looks like one of them ten... Crabby ten grocian thing. Don't know what I found here. It's not a weight, it's not heavy enough. And it seems a bit weird to be a button, but what else can it be? I don't know if you can see that it's dinted there, look. It must be a button. Obviously modern. I don't know, what's that? Is that a, off a bike for a lamp or a lamp on or something? I don't know, it's a bracket of some some description. Okay first coin on this new bit of land and the day's turned out beautiful it's really warm a little bit of a wind on but I uh, don't know what this is probably a two groschen two heller or something like that just found this unusual find now I know what you're going to say it's a button it's not not with that on the back it's not look at that what the hell is that 
and it's a weird shape too, it's not exactly round. Uh, I think I can see a pattern on it like a flower, maybe I'm wrong. But uh, that's unusual, that is, what the hell is it? Well, I just found this lot, uh, cracking signal, uh, and I'm really happy I found, a, I found this because I needed a pee. Yeah.